guys, it's Mindy and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, thanks for stopping by. As I said, my name is Mindy and today I am doing a little speed build of what I would consider my perfect office. I have been complaining a lot on Facebook that I don't have the office space. I actually record in my living room. Um, so unfortunately I don't get much privacy and I can't use my face cam a lot of times. I, and I have to wait until my kids are in bed to record, which I would do anyway. Um, but you know, it'd still be nice to just have my own little place, but unfortunately I can't do that. Um, so I decided, Hey, let's live vicariously through my Sims. And that's exactly what I did. So this is my dream office, but while I am recording this, I did just want to talk to you guys and kind of catch up with you all about what's going on with my channel. So I uh, shared some pictures on Twitter of this huge mansion that I've been doing and I was so proud of it and it had been it had taken me forever and I had got the whole shell done, the whole outside done, I just needed to do the inside. And I accidentally deleted that file and I couldn't get it back. I tried everything. I researched everything. Couldn't get it back. I was so upset that I was like, you know what? That's it. I'm, I'm done with my game save file. I'm starting over. I'm starting fresh. I'm tired of this. And I think I was just feeling really down because I spent so much time making that mansion. And I don't make mansions a lot, so... Uh, yeah, it was pretty upsetting to me. Um, I think so, lo probably all of you have been there at one point or another in The Sims. Um, so yeah, uh, during all of that, I was kind of, I guess, like throwing a fit. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired of this. And, you know, it was just, it was just a really frustrating moment. So, um, but I decided that there is something that I do want to do with my game save file. And that is, is I kind of want to go in and maybe redo a few things, um, when I started working on this game save file, was I, since then I have learned so much. I have been putting more detail into my builds. I've been spending more time on my builds. And I really want my game save file to reflect that. And I want it to reflect my personality and my love for The Sims. And I want you guys to be able to see that as well. So um, my game save file is going to stay as it currently is. So uh, don't worry about that. Um, but I think we are going to go back and redo some, like, especially some of the community lots. Um, I just want to put a little bit more detail into them. Maybe some of the houses that I feel like, eh, they could use a little update. So I might be doing that. I did download a house the other day that when I had created it, I thought it was amazing. And I was like so proud of it. And I down, like I opened it up from my, get from my library and I placed it down to play it. And I was like, oh, this isn't, this isn't that good. <laughs> Um, so I think it's probably just me just critiquing myself because I can be like overly critical of myself and I think a lot of people can, um, but it was still a really nice house, but yeah, I decided that maybe just, um, going back and kind of touching up on a few things, um, something that I've talked about in my game save file is that when you guys download my game save file, when I released it, the Sims in my file, they're going to have, um, they're going to have jobs, they're going to have relationships, they're going to have skills, they're going to have, um, like, just, they're not going to be just plain, like, I'm not just going to throw them all in there with nothing, um, so it is going to take a while for me to work on it because, um, you know, I've got to get their skills built up, i got to get them to the right career level, and I do have MC Command, so I'm really thankful for that because that's going to help me a lot during that process, but, uh, yeah, I really wanted to put my heart and soul into it, and so, um, that's what I, that's what I'm doing. That's what I am doing. And, uh, I figured I just had to let the mansion go. It's done. It's over with. It's gone. I can't do anything about it now. Um, but I did back up all my files. <laughs> so lesson learned, always back up your files, guys. I can't say that enough. Always back up your files. It's really simple to do. Um, I can even create a tutorial on it if that's something that you guys would be interested in. But, um, yeah, always always, always back up your files. And, uh, I didn't with that. And, uh, it was probably several hours of work, um, that I spent on this mansion and I'll insert a picture so you guys can see. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, so you guys can see all of the work that I did on it. I don't even have like a most recent picture of it. Um, because the picture that I have, I had done way more than that. I mean, like the landscaping was done, everything. I, it was just such a disappointment, such a disappointment to me. Um, and it really just kind of like kicked me in the stomach, you know, and I just had that blow where I was just like fed up and done with everything. Um, 
but yeah, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. It's going to be okay. We're going to go back and touch on some of the other houses in my game save file. Also, we are currently working in Strangerville, so I really want to finish that up. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we can go from there. I'm kind of going to do like one town at a time kind of thing. And then I'll give you guys like a world tour of everything. You guys will get to meet all the Sims in that city. So I am really, really excited about that. So basically when I wasn't going to actually record this video, like for you guys, I was just kind of making it going to release it, but I thought it would be a really good time just because at the moment I can't do face cam. So I thought it would be just a really good time to talk to you guys about what's going on with my channel and what's going on with my life and, um, everything's going pretty smoothly. So, um, yeah, I have, I have that going for me. My not so berry challenge is going fantastic. Well, I'm having fun with it, but, uh, uh, I don't think we're going to complete the mint generation, but we're going to keep going. So keep an eye out for that, guys. Um, if that, if you're looking for a new Let's Play, my Not So Berry Challenge, I've been having a blast with. Um, so yeah, there's that. But anyways, so to this build, you are seeing me. I have added some bookcases. I added those little silver letters on top of the fireplace mantle because they kind of remind me like maybe they say my name. Like maybe it says Mindy on it like in my head. And then those pictures leaning up against the wall that we got with the new update. I am in love with those pictures. I love that they lean up against the wall. I love that I can size them down and put them on shelves. They just look really, really cute. So I added a ton of detail into this room and a ton of color because I love color. I love bright things. And uh, so I really feel like I did a good job of like capturing um, my personality in this build, uh, because if I had an office, this is probably exactly what it'd be like. I have some lotion on my desk. I have a picture of pencils. I put, um, plants around the room because in my perfect office, I would have tons of plants everywhere. I love plants. Um, I love that outdoory, outdoorsy open type feeling. I have candles everywhere because I love candles too. So, uh, yeah, my perfect office, I would have an area where I could record, um, maybe an area for editing. So I did add in that like video station thing, um, which uh, you have to have a separate computer for that. So you can't like use it as a regular computer. So that's why I have the computer and the recording thing in there. Um, I would love to have like tons of bookcases. I love to read. I love books so much. I would have a spot to sit down. I would have a spot to relax. Um, and yeah, I was kind of thinking too, like if I had my like ideal office, this is basically how it would be set up. It would be really bright. And I would love if I was recording to have a beautiful background. Um, because right now the background is my couch where my husband and my dog currently reside. <laughs> <laughs> and my husband plays video games usually while I'm recording and so uh, you'll probably see him like get really mad at one point or start yelling at the TV that's because he's playing video games um, but basically that's why I don't use face cam a lot because first of all the lighting's really really bad and um, yeah it just doesn't work out so I was like you know what I'm just gonna dream a little bit and uh, this is what I came up with and I'm in love with it I love using those flowers on the wall and sizing them to different sizes. I do want to warn you, if you ever do that with those flowers and you size it to the smallest size, you need to put it on the right color before you size it because once you size it down to the smallest size that it will go, you cannot change the color on it. I think the game just doesn't really register it as being there. So just a little hint. And then um, on these shelves that I put above the uh, recording station, I put some of those skulls in there because I love those skulls. I think they're so pretty. Um, I really love, like I said, bright colors. My favorite color is pink and yellow and uh, just like really bright things, like really happy colors. So uh, yeah, I'm really in love with pink and I love like the whole pink and gray thing together. It just looks really good. Um, so I stick some skulls up here. And these shelves are like intentionally kind of, um, collectic, or collectic, eclectic. That's what the, that's the word I'm looking for. They're, they're intentionally eclectic because I think in my personality, I do have a little bit of an eclectic attitude, although I am very organized. I love to organize things. I love to keep things organized. I like to keep things in their place. I'm very type A type person. Um, but yeah, I do, I, I do have that eclectic kind of vibe to me every once in a while so that's kind of what I was going with on these shelves and I do have to move everything down because I wanted to put like those little trophy things up there um, from get famous but I didn't want to clip in through the ceiling so you'll see me kind of what I'm doing now just lowering those shelves for it 
Um, I put those little boxes up there. I actually used to have something really, really similar um, to that pink box when I was younger. So like those stacked box. So I just uh, resized it and added it on there because it just reminds me of a box that I had when I was a teenager. And I was also thinking when I was doing this build that it would be really fun to redo my um, childhood bedroom. Um, my bedroom changed like a couple times as a child, but like just putting it like as I last remember it, maybe as a teenager right before I moved out, I think that would be a lot of fun to do. Um, growing up, my bedroom was pink and then I went through my, um, <laughs> I don't know, I went through some kind of phase when I was in middle school. I think everybody goes through that phase and it was blue and orange for a while. Oh man. Oh, I don't know how my parents like let me do that, but whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, I, th I really honestly thought about doing that. So I think that's something that I might do soon. Just redo my room, my childhood bedroom. Um, let me know in the comments below if that's something that you guys would like to see. Have you guys ever recreated your childhood bedroom? Um, for those of you who are older, I know there's a lot of viewers that, you know, they still live at home with their parents, but um, I'm 29, so I just thought it would be really fun to kind of revisit that. Anyways, we are coming up to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, yeah, I, um, I hope that you keep your eyes out for my game save file. Make sure to check me out on Twitter and all of social media so you can stay updated with my life and my channel. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other videos. And if you enjoy my content, be sure to like and subscribe. So with that being said, I will talk to you later. Bye.